right, Jonathan. So I know uh, the first time you played Fallout was Fallout 3. Mm -hmm. And that was the got convinced you to work on this project. Yeah. What was it that stood out to you about Fallout? That was a tone. Uh, the, the tone of it was something I never really experienced before. I didn't know anything about the games other than that they were, you know, that, that, that it was w well regarded before I sat down with Fallout 3. And I was in one of those places in between projects where I just needed a kind of a brain cleanse. I needed to do something different. Mm -hmm. uh, and I had never, from the beginning of that game, I'd never experienced anything that was dark, emotional, super violent, but also funny, satirical, politically subversive, weird. Mm -hmm. there, there's something about these games that's common through all the games that is unlike anything that I really experienced before. And so I think that for us was the jumping off point and the biggest challenge in the adaptation. Yeah, I know the part three was located in Washington, D.C. Yeah. So why, why Los Angeles <clears throat> for, for this project? Well, it felt kind of irresistible. As we started, it was a, a confluence of talking with Geneva and Graham, um, writers, co-creators, and showrunners on, on, on the series about every game, the setting is such an important part of the game. It's almost a character in and of itself, whether it's DC or <clears throat> Boston or, or Los Angeles, which is where the first game was set. Mm -hmm. For us, we, we looked at the story that we wanted to tell, bringing people into this universe, uh, it, it was irresistible to start, you know, couldn't resist the the, the impulse to start where the games started. And, and the other, and again, these are, these are satirical games. The idea that here's a bunch of Hollywood people doing an adaptation of a video game couldn't resist the, the appeal of setting it in the ruins of Hollywood. Yeah, but I just like that this is, has a different story than the game. Yeah. So even for the fans of the game, I think they will get also will get into it too, the series, and also for newcomers. Too, yeah, so. that was my thing as well. As a fan of the games, on the one hand, you want to see what you've experienced, but on the other hand, you also want to. I would. I. I. I get excited about seeing something new. And how was it uh, pitching it to Todd Howard? About, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. I, this really started from the beginning of of Todd and I kind of pitching each other on the idea of making this work. He'd long wanted to sit down <clears throat> he long wanted to sit down with me and i had a, a you know I had been a huge fan of, of his work mm -hmm. and so really right from that beginning you know when you just hit it off with someone you kind of have that that rapport immediately mm -hmm. you know we had one lunch and do from that lunch that we were going to go go off and make a series together so let's say this is this happens for your fallout right do you see yourself as a vault dweller or a surface dweller oh i'm definitely a surface dweller i mean i'm soft like a vault dweller i have soft hands right like uh, i i don't know that i would last very long up on the uh, up up in the wasteland but um, I think that's that's where, where where my heart is. I get a little claustrophobic. <laughs> that's being stuck inside. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you see yourself uh, still same location, in Los Angeles, or you want to go somewhere else? Oh, good question. Good question. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I like I like a lot. I've been there for a very long time, uh, but I think one of the appeals of the games is that you get that itch to travel and there, that that endless landscape. You want to see what's over the next horizon. Yeah. Now, if if you have another opportunity to to do a, another location uh, mm. series, do you see yourself still doing it in Los Angeles, maybe Las Vegas? Oh, that's a good, good, good Boston, question. You know, I, I don't think I can answer that without getting in trouble. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned, all right? But Jonathan, thanks a lot, man. It's been an honor, man. My Great pleasure. job. So, tell us a little bit about your your characters in in the TV series Fallout. Well, I play Maximus. Uh, Maximus is uh, born and raised in the wasteland. Uh, mm -hmm. He's found himself to be a uh, part of the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, as a faction mm -hmm. uh and that's that's where we start with our character um i think it's a, a journey that will go on with him of how he develops his own sort of i think grasp of where he wants to take his life but uh ella plays a vault dweller no go ahead explain <laughs> it please so ella plays a vault dweller. <laughs> <laughs> i play lucy who is a vault dweller okay um meaning she has spent her entire life born and raised underground mm. in a vault Mm -hmm. uh, she comes from a long line of people who originally went underground to hide from the bombs that fell. And okay. uh, so she comes from a place of privilege, um, but also a meritocracy that believes in the golden rule and doing the right thing. She's got a lot of morals and value. In that kind of thing. So let's say this is, happens for real. Do you prefer to be a uh, vault dweller or a dweller? I mean... And why? Can I take the easy route and say vault dweller? I mean, that I mean that's the question, right? Like knowing what you know now, mm -hmm. I wouldn't choose to be a vault dweller in the moment with the with the not you know with what you're told how vault tech is pitched. Everyone would choose to be a yeah. vault dweller if given the opportunity. With Danny as well. 
Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think so. If I have everything inside, I think I'll stay inside. Yeah. I'll stay as yeah, a photo. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, location wise, I say you do go outside. Um, mm. Do you still want to stay in Los Angeles? You want to go somewhere else? Ooh, I'd want to go somewhere where the weather's nice. Hawaii. Ellen wants to go to Hawaii. You know, Hawaii is not that bad. I'll yeah. try Hawaii. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Would you go to Hawaii? Maybe. At that point, Hawaii would be bigger. That's true. A little larger landmass, you know? Right. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, no further comment. <laughs> <laughs> now, if it wasn't for Fallout, where do you think your character will be instead of, you know, let's say it doesn't exist, Fallout, but your character will be somewhere else doing something? Or Out what? in the world. Out in the world. Where's Lucy? Oh, I don't know. In a cult somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Yeah. I don't know. We were doing some good charity work, you know? Yeah, yeah. She's doing charity work somewhere. Now, what was it that, that stood out to you about this project that you were like, man, I got I to gotta be part of this? What was it? You know what? Uh, something so funny to me, something so strange and new and funny, because I didn't know the games before approaching these scripts. So I thought, mm. what in the world could have a tone like this? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and it, it it's fallout, you know? it's It's that sense of how to make something bleak and tragic, but also funny, you know, uh, and at the same time, uh, really exciting. You know, it's an adventure. Uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real real fun time mm -hmm. on set yeah. you know, because of that. And what about you, Ella? I, honestly, it's the same thing. It's the tone. The balancing the absurdist, satirical humor, the dark comedy. It's, it's a really hard thing to do. And I think Geneva and Graham, the whole team did such a fantastic job of capturing the the tone of the games. It's, but it's, you know, it's still heartfelt. But you can't have one without the other, you know? Yeah, yeah. And why fans should definitely watch this once it comes out? You've never seen a show like this before. It <laughs> is very different. Say that. It is, very it is different. unique. Yeah, it very unique. unique. It yeah. is unique. Yeah. 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 And I, I, can't wait, I can't wait to watch the rest of the series, man. So uh, congratulations yeah. and great job. Thank, Thank you, Dave. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, How, uh, tell us a little bit about your character in the series. Oh, Danny. So I'm uh, in uh, yeah, Fallout, of course. Yeah. Uh, so I play Hank. Hank is an overseer. Uh, he's the overseer of Vault 33. An overseer is basically kind of the governor, if you will, of the vault. Um, and I'm in charge of keeping my flock, uh, because there is almost a religious feel to it, um, you know, on the right foot, going the right direction, positive, um, working for the future, um, very upbeat and, uh, and really optimistic group of people. And what was it uh, that stood out to you about being part of this project, you like, all right, was it was it the game? Was it just the, the story? I thought the I thought putting this story that we that we've created that Jonah has created, the writers have created, mm. um, in the very immersive world of Fallout, um, this very complicated, complex, interesting world of Fallout, mm. was really smart uh, because they've. You know, they've already created an environment and a reality and a dynamic uh, in this place. Mm -hmm. And a compelling story on top of that, which is what we have, I think uh, lends itself really, really well to that. Yeah. And how was it working with, with Ella and Aaron and, and, and the rest of the crew? So great. Yeah. So great. Yeah. Ella, just to the light, is my daughter. Uh, Lucy, she is very special. Very easy to play her dad in this situation. Um uh, so th that was great. Aaron, absolutely wonderful actor. Um, my first time working with him, didn't know about him before. Um, he's done a terrific job as uh, one of the members of the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, each of these characters are, are complicated. They're, com they're complex people, uh, have a lot of different things going on and a lot of secrets. Mm -hmm. So Let, Let's say this happens for real, Fallout. Do you see yourself as a vault dweller or, or a surface dweller? Oh boy, I'm claustrophobic. <laughs> see, see. I'd have to be on the surface somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Do you see yourself staying at the same location, Los Angeles? Or you want to go somewhere else, like, you know, somewhere that you probably, you see the weather, better uh, yeah. food. You know? I don't know. I mean, I live in LA. That's a pretty, that's pretty easy right there. I think I just stay in LA. Stay in LA. Be near the beach. I could surf a little bit if necessary. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you can grow anything in California. I'd probably stay in LA. Yeah. So let's say there was no fallout. Your, right. Do you see your character doing the same exact thing or doing something different? Oh, interesting. I think Hank would be a, a leader uh, regardless of where he was. Um, he is uh, probably be in a, a business, a company somewhere, but he'd be in charge of a lot of people and mm -hmm. would hopefully be able to influence them by his positivity. Yeah. yeah. Do, do you see uh, your character... Uh, 
very strict with, with with Lucy, or he's very, um, he's very, pretty strict. Yeah, he's a pretty strict dad, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's fair. I think he's fair, and I don't think he's he's a real big disciplinarian. But I think he's he's pretty strict. But I would say he's probably very um, l logical ab about what what he what he wants and what he expects. In other words, he would he would have a, a rationale and a reason and an explanation for for why he would say you do this and maybe not do this. Um, so. Almost leading by example, which is sort of what Hank does. Yeah. And uh, have you met the the team that worked on the original Fallout uh, at all? Or? Uh, no, no, no. no. Um, I um, we we mostly just were just with the writers and the creators that we that we had in the, in yeah. the series. Uh, like based on the, the the stuff that I've seen, uh, the set looks amazing. It looks amazing. So how was it seeing that for the first time? It was overwhelming. Yeah, as you can imagine. Yeah, walking onto that set for the first time and not really knowing what to expect, seeing all the cornfields all planted, seeing the giant tunnels that we use, the the vault, uh, the door, the vault door. I mean, it was really impressive. Very impressive. Yeah. Like, what, where was it you guys filmed uh, the, the series? We filmed mostly in New York. So we were at uh, here in New York in um, at Steiner Studios out in the Naval Yard. Um, but there were also other locations that they chose. So my first question is why uh, it stood out to you to work on this project, Fallout? Have you played the Fallout uh, yeah, series yeah, in I've the past? Uh, 1997, I was living in Edmonton, Alberta, like a few blocks from where they were making the first Baldur's Gate game. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and with a, yeah, uh, I've been playing Bethesda games since Arena, um, I think was the first one for me. It was the first Fallout in 97. Yeah, but I'd played uh, Daggerfall. Someone told me it was like Daggerfall. The Daggerfall guys made a game that's sort of like XCOM, which does not encapsulate in my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was like, all right, let's play this game. And me and my roommates all gathered around the, the, the yeah. computer and screwed their heads. And what was stood out to you about about the game? They were like, man, I want to like be part of this project. And also the location is is uh, also in Los Angeles. Los Angeles I know yeah. previous games has been like different locations, but mm -hmm. why Los Angeles? Uh, well, it was the first game. Um, we found a beautiful location in Elizabeth Bay that, that was a, or had a great stand in for the Santa Monica Pier. Mm -hmm. uh, and also just felt like we could go back to the beginning of the games and tell a story of like what's happened since. And um, in our view, a lot uh, it can happen. Uh, you know, like the idea of endings, uh, TV and endings don't really go together very well. Uh, then mm -hmm. you're sort of uh, the idea that some resolution occurred in Fallout 1 that, and it's been placid and the same every time since then is like no way a bunch of crazy stuff has happened since then um and yeah we hope that uh people people like it yeah now it's always been uh you always wanted to write a new story for for, for the series or you wanted to be very related to like the the past games we want it to a new story set in the world of the past games uh, that we wanted to kind of honor the 25 years of creative work that have happened Mm -hmm. And the best way to do that is to do our own work on top of that, and like this crazy Jenga tower, mm -hmm. who are hopefully contributing to building. Yeah. Now, let's say this happens for real, Fallout, right? Do you see yourself as a vault dweller or a surface dweller? I see myself as a bag of bones, uh, just being chucked in the sewer. Uh, but <laughs> I, I'm not yeah. a person who pines for the apocalypse, but uh, I feel like it's a fun space uh, for imagination, but in reality... Those of us who we all have a mental picture of how it'll play out for us, and it'll it won't <laughs> it'll be bad. Now the same location, Los Angeles. We want to go somewhere different for the real apocalypse? like a real real pop. Oh yeah, yeah real it's Vancouver Islands. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Is is it the food? Is it the location? What, no, 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 I just I visited there in the second grade, and I was like, this would be a good yeah. place to hold up. Yeah. And, and now work on this project. How was it working with Bethesda, especially Todd Howard? Oh, great. Um, they, they're they such a busy group of people. They're putting out Starfield at the time. I mean, what's going on? How are you guys doing? We're like, we got it. And it was totally great. Um, mm -hmm. Super helpful. Um, Beth Bethesda, friends from Bethesda on set for every day. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. just to, you felt like you weren't going to screw things up uh, versus being told what to do. Mm -hmm. It was completely... Uh, supportive and collaborative dynamic. Yeah, and also getting a new audience too. Like, yeah, but I'm saying like a new audience because the reason you know some people I see always oh, a video game show they need to know about the game and and it's uh it's good for everybody. Yeah, for yeah. Gamers and non gamers. I mean, yeah. my best viewing experience was watching the Jurassic Park movie and then being like, "There's a book," and then I went and read the book and I was like, "There's even more." Okay. You know, it was very you know. And now you're into the lore and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that. Yeah. 
if you like this, there's more where, where that came from. There's a whole lot more. Uh, there's 25 years of games. Yeah. Can't wait to watch the whole series, man. But great job to you and Thank the team. Thank you very much. Awesome. Appreciate it.